There we go. All right, sir, tell us your story about the Green Bay Packers. Back in 1982, well, first of all, my brother uh, did sold baseball cards, football cards, <coughs> basketball cards, mail order, since he was a freshman in high school. When I was a senior, he got a hold of James Lofton's agent and set up a signing to sign, I think it was 500 pictures. So we, me, my brother, and a friend of ours met up in, at the Midway Motor Lodge right over here, met him in his room. Um, Mike Douglas was his roommate, and we were there, it seemed like, most of the day with him, talking, watching him sign autographs. Uh, he's called his, called his wife, um, had a lot of different Packers walking through, and my memory, I always think of Casey Merrill walking by with a plastic bag of beers on ice. <laughs> we ate pizza with uh, defensive tackle Byron Briggs that day. Um, were you an autograph seeker at all at that point? I, I don't think, I, I was, yeah. but I don't remember getting autographs. I don't think I asked for anybody's autograph there. You know, I got a good picture of Lofton signed. Um, got some snapshots of him with a cheap camera back then. <laughs> but it was pretty cool because he was probably at the height of his career, at least in Green Bay here. Sure. And we were hanging out with him. He wore his, uh, his uh, sweatsuit from... Uh, superstars competition. That oh they yeah, they used to... superstars competitions. Sure. He had his superstars sweatsuit on. Yeah. And was he yeah. easy to talk to? Was he, he was, approachable? Yeah. yeah, he was. He was cool. And Mike Douglas was really new, neat too. They were. He was teasing us that that he would hook us up with the solid gold dancers. He said he was good friends with solid gold dancers. And we were, you know, we were in high school and yeah. you know, kind of scared me actually when he was talking like that. <laughs> They were, yeah, it was a lot of fun. They, they, they treated us great. It was, it was a lot of fun. Oh, great. 